I have made up my mind. It is my decision, effective tonight, to step down as Vice President and News Director of WTVJ and also relinquish my duties as newscaster, editorialist on this program. One of the founders of the Lynn and Lewis Wolfson II Florida Moving Image Archives was Miami news pioneer Ralph Rennick, who began his broadcast career as an intern in 1949 at WTVJ. I don't think anyone has been a TV news director longer than I have, going back to 1950 at this station. I also began the first daily TV newscast in Florida 35 years ago on Channel 4. I wasn't called an anchor man then because at the age of 21, people perhaps thought I hadn't yet learned the ropes, and they were right. Many of you watching tonight remember those early television days, seeing on your screen a tall, dark-haired, lanky kid. Thankfully, my boss, Colonel Mitchell Wolfson, had faith in me. Rennick was the driving force behind WTVJ saving their news materials and then helping to make sure the Wolfson Archives was established to be the caretaker of the collections. Aside from the film and video of his news reports and special programs, the Wolfson Archives has hundreds of files relating to Rennick's most unique innovation at WTVJ, his daily news editorials, which started in 1957. Here is tonight's editorial. The Archives has copies of his editorial scripts organized by date, which can be matched up to any corresponding news footage and recordings of his editorials as they aired. Editorials are not designed to make everybody happy and feel good all over. This one won't. But we feel something needs to be said, despite the euphoria in town this week over the Miami Dolphins' stunning win over the Dallas Cowboys in the Orange Bowl Monday night. This collection also includes Rennick's various awards and commendations, recognizing his professionalism and civic involvement. Though Rennick left WTVJ in 1985 and made an unsuccessful run for Florida governor, he didn't leave television behind completely. Having moved to WCIX, now WFOR, in 1988 before officially retiring in 1990. Our top stories tonight on Channel 6 Action News. Good evening everybody, I'm Ken Matz. And I'm Diana Morgan. For decades, he dominated South Florida TV news. He was a man whose contributions to TV news reporting made him one of the best known figures in Florida history. Tonight, word that Ralph Rennick has died of liver disease has touched and saddened those who grew up hearing his voice. Channel 6 Action News anchor John Hambrick looks back at the life and legend of Ralph Rennick. Along the way, Ralph went places, met people, and stored up experiences most active reporters today have only read about in history books. He was part of that history. After all, he was, more than any of us can ever hope to be, the definitive newscaster in South Florida, the trailblazer. Good night, and may the good news be yours, and hopefully mine.